Hey guys, Big Gamer here. I had a request recently on one of my videos for a way to use uh, XPatter with your Wii controller. Uh, I did some looking around and uh, I didn't see any way to directly use the Wii U controller with XPatter unless you have the May Flash adapter. Uh, but I have found a way to get it to work with it through one of the other pro through uh, WinUsoft. Uh, basically, we're going to use WinUsoft to make the Wii U controller show up as an Xbox 360 controller, and then use XPatter as though we were using a 360 controller. So you'll first need to go get XPatter. And I found two sources. There's the official site, which if you go in here, click your language, put in your email address, you'll get a download link. However, that download link requires you to pay $10. Granted, you'll get the newest version, but you have to pay $10. I also found the SourceForge site for it, which has version 5.7 which I don't know if that's the newest version, but that's the one I will be using in this video. So, uh, actually I'm pretty sure it's not the newest version because this one specifically lists Windows 10. And when I tried to run this, I had to actually throw it into compatibility mode because it wouldn't acknowledge that Windows 10 was a valid operating system. So, Anyway, if you want to do the free route, then download it from the SourceForge site, which there'll be a link in the description to both sites. Uh, the newer version, according to the forums here, still it only talks about using the Wii U controller with the May Flash adapter. So it seems like there's still not any other way through just a regular Bluetooth connection to use the Wii U controller with XPatter. Anyway, go to the SourceForge site or the main site, download the program. It's a standard program install. Double click the file that it installs. And then if you haven't already, you will need to go download WinUsoft and install that, and I'll put a link to that video as well in the description. Once you have them both installed, uh, if you open up, if you're using this, first of all, you'll need to go find where it's installed, which you don't have to go through that. You can just, well, if you're on Windows 7, you'll be fine, but if you're on, I think, Windows 8, probably, or Windows 10, You'll need to go find its entry on your start menu. Right click. Uh, I don't know if the med start menu is like this on Windows 8. Uh, you might have to go to properties and go to fi open file location. And here, go to file location, which takes you to the shortcut. Properties for that, open file location. And that'll take you to the actual program. You right click on that, go to security or compatibility rather, sorry. Run it in compatibility mode for Windows 7. And I went ahead and told it to run as administrator. Uh, it doesn't do anything that's gonna be a problem if it, does, if it runs in as administrator and giving it administrator privileges potentially eliminates other issues that could crop up through using it like this before they have a chance to happen. So once you have those set, go ahead and close this all out and you can open up XPatter, which you will get a screen similar to this. If you already have your controller connected and you go into settings, 
not that settings, this settings. You click on controllers, you'll see that it does show a Bluetooth HID port connection, which is the Wii controller. But then if you go try to configure it, and say, go to sticks, enable, hit detect, and it just, it doesn't recognize the input. So, that's obviously not going to work. Uh, but, if we open up WinUsoft and get our controller connected, thank you, Furnace. I wanted you to kick on while I was doing this. This is going to be an editing nightmare. There. Now, it's detecting. I'm going to re-detect that because I got a little wonky on the... Pushing. Now you can just go through and map your buttons. And for some reason, it does not detect the uh, home button, even though in WinUsoft it is mapped as the Xbox button. But Windows will pick it up, so games to acknowledge that will still be able to acknowledge that. And once you have everything mapped and you got your image uh if you go on the xpatter forums in the controller images like i said since it does apparently work with the mayflash adapter there are wii u controller images here i went ahead and downloaded one And of course I didn't label these, so Y X A B left stick right stick. L, R, minus, plus, D-pad, left trigger, right trigger. And we'll just move these in like this so they're not overlapping. And there, you have your controller mapped. Looks pretty good there. And you can go ahead and save it as a layout. Maybe name it a little differently here. Maybe like new Xbox 360 controller. And then you should be able to download any of these game profiles for Xbox 360 controllers. 
and they should work just fine. I haven't actually played anything with it, but as you can see, XPatter recognizes the input. And you should be good to go. Uh, there will be links in the description for XPatter, both download sites, the forums. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put a link to the uh, WinUsoft program video. And that is going to do it for this video. If it helped you out. Uh, hit the like if you want to see more videos, subscribe, leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, and thanks so much for watching. Uh, until next time, guys.